Due to the late arrival of a Rhodes University approval letter and after a fine of 1,300 rand, international students are left feeling marginalised. It's unfair because um, considering that we, there is another, I think it's 8,100 international levy that we pay that we don't really know what it does, um, then having to pay another 1.3 on top of that is, especially for visa delays, is, I think probably should be included in that 8.1. International students also, their families face financial constraints as well. Maybe can't pay fees in time. These are common issues you do find. However, it makes the extra charge makes it seem like the international student and their family are intentionally uh, go, I mean, intentionally putting themselves through these stresses and they deserve to be paying this extra 1,300 rands because they're just being irresponsible or something else unfair like that. Sometimes these visa delays also not only disrupt the student like in terms of academics but then also when it comes to like getting an air ticket issued or maybe getting a place to live in so then they should consider all these other aspects rather than think maybe it's a, a student just practically getting late to come to school. Due to visa delays international students are always left with this problem. We spoke to SRC's international rep to get clarity on this issue. Well there's still people registering late now and I think the hard thing with giving the exact figures is because the cases come in one by one where someone will email and say, I'm waiting for my proof of payment to come through or the transfer hasn't come through or my visa is supposed to come through the next few days. So it's not an exact figure. We don't have a total figure because not everyone is coming through us as well. Some people are going straight to the registrar's division, so I wouldn't know the exact figure. Rhodes TV spoke to Sharon Tala, who was directly affected by visa delays and a late approval letter, which resulted in her paying the fine. The reason why I couldn't just come or I couldn't just apply for my visa is because one of the requirements for a visa is a letter of approval. I applied for my visa and it took about a week, so that's why I came late. I only received it once the first week of school had started. And I tried contacting even the VC and no response up to this day. I truly believe it's the school's fault. It was no, there was nothing else I could do. I had everything else ready for my application apart from that letter. Graham Maruta has the following suggestions for this problem. I would suggest that people start the whole renewal process in advance because what happens is at times one will wait for the supplementary exams results, for example, right, until they start um, the whole visa renewal process. I'm Deepa Kessa reporting for RUTV, Grahamstown.